Global warming, speculating about causes. Global warming is a burning issue nowadays. Global warming is one of the current issues nowadays. This burning issue is discussed by politicians, environmentalists, and other people who are concerned with its effects. Although the causes of this catastrophe are in doubt, its irreparable effects are real and measurable. There are a lot of points of view concerning the causes of this approaching catastrophe. We are going to cast light upon some of the most reasonable causes of this catastrophe. The Causes of Global Warming Natural Causes Factually, all causes may be divided into two groups namely the group of natural causes and the group of anthropogenic or man-made causes. Let us first dwell upon natural causes that do not depend on mankind. One of the main natural causes is wetlands and arctic tundra which are the main source of methane emission. Methane is known to be a greenhouse gas that increases the temperature in the atmosphere. Another cause is that the Earth is in a state of climate change as far as the line of the equator has gradually moved. This climate change usually happens once in 40,000 years and global warming is the result of this change. There are not so many natural causes as man-made ones. Anthropogenic or man-made causes Human beings' actions are considered to be the main cause of global warming. These causes are the most harmful to our planet. People are accustomed to taking everything from their life without taking care of future generations. They use the wealth of our nature without any paying back. Such irresponsibility may cause a global catastrophe which results will be irreparable. Causes that make mankind think over their actions Pollution is one of the most current issues nowadays. Although people realize all the consequences of their actions, they do not stop harming the earth. There are a lot of forms of pollution, from rubbish to fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are considered to be the main cause of global warming. When fossil fuels are burned, they emit the greenhouse gas CO2 that influences the atmosphere's temperature. The burning of oil and coal emits methane. Methane is emitted during the mining of oil or coal as far as methane is kept in the ground. Moreover, industrial development also may be considered to be the cause of global warming as far as the development and broadening of plants mean the rise of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The rise of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere results in the rise of temperature destroying many plants and animals. Furthermore, electricity production increases CO2 emissions. We live in the era of modern technologies, and we cannot imagine our life without electrical devices. There are more electrical devices than people living on Earth. If you pay attention to the electrical devices near you, you will be astonished to realize how many gadgets you need. It is even difficult to imagine how people lived without all these electric devices in the past. Mankind depends on oil and coal as the main sources of electricity and energy and if humanity does not find any alternative source of energy our Earth will be on the way to disaster. Natural resources are exhausted and mankind does not care about them, people just take from nature without giving anything back. Another anthropogenic cause of global warming is the incredible rise in population. It is necessary to have more food and more space for more people. The rise of necessity in food results in the development of agriculture and the necessity for space causes deforestation. As a result, more land is used for agriculture instead of woods that emit oxygen. Manure that is so often used in agriculture is another cause of global warming as far as it is the main source of methane. More than that, the development of agriculture denotes the use of different chemical fertilizers that are the sources of greenhouse gases. The use of nitrogen-rich fertilizers causes the heat storage of cropland. Anaerobic decomposition is also the source of methane emission. This process takes place when organic matter is decomposed by bacteria under the influence of oxygen-starved conditions and, as a result, methane is emitted, it usually happens with rice patties. Nearly the same process is observed in herbivorous animals such as cows. Domestic animals also need more food and are considered to be the source of methane. With the rise in population and the development of agriculture, the level of greenhouse gases increases. More people also implies more means of transport which are also the primary cause of the emission of greenhouse gases. A car has become an integral part of human life, and some people even have more than one vehicle. 
there are countries where the number of means of transportation increases the population itself. Factually, consumption exceeds the real needs of people, people use more than they really need. CO2 is considered to be the main cause of global warming. People breathe out CO2 which is why the rise of population means the rise of CO2 in the atmosphere. The trees that absorb CO2 and emit oxygen vanish since people need more space for living. Deforestation is another cause of global warming. The main causes of deforestation are the necessity of wood which is the main source of warming, building, and paper production. Deforestation increases the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which also causes global warming. Conclusion From the above, we may conclude that there are a lot of causes of global warming. Global warming is caused by human activities as well as the processes in nature. Although some natural causes do not depend on mankind the majority of them are the fault of humanity. Some people consider natural causes to be the main ones and others condemn human activities. Although the points of view are different, global warming like any other phenomenon has its causes and effects. It should be noted that only the major consequences of human activities have been described in this essay. There are a lot of other causes that should be considered. Nevertheless, these major causes should make people think about their actions. Although the process of global warming is difficult or even impossible to stop, we may take measures to soften its effects. Understanding real causes helps to solve the problem and save our planet.